Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigolos and gigolettes. It's me, Gio. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty. If you guys notice a small change of scenery right now, I'm currently driving my. This is the first time I've driven this car, and probably since February. I'm in the QX60 right now. Man, these brakes. Ah, god damn, I'm still driving this car. The brakes are like super responsive. Like if you tap the brakes, it's like it's it's a full full stop. Uh, may or may not have a Turo drop off tomorrow that I have to do amongst other amongst other gigs. So that's why I'm picking the car from my parents' driveway and yeah. Yeah. Hoping to climb that climb that Turo ladder like I'm climbing that task grabber ladder. Alright, you know, can I move this thing back? Feel confined. There we go. Sorry, had, had the had the high beams on like a fucking asshole. Man, this is a fucking comfortable car. Let me just just let me say that this is a this is a quality machine right here, man. What was the oil change to? Can't tell. I don't think it's too yet. All right. Uh, today I uh, I'm gonna make this video kind of quick. So. I had a task booked for, uh, I had to go up, did I have to go up north today for my first job? No, 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 sorry, that was yesterday. <laughs> um, first task today, I got the, uh, I got the booking last night and it was, uh, it was in Cicero. And it's, it was slated for 8 a.m. So I, I uh, left my house at like 7.20, made my way over there. The task took about 30 minutes, really heavy couch. The guy said he had like, he had uh, you know health issues. So he helped out how he could, got the couch out, threw out the air conditioner. And then I, I had, uh, I originally thought I was meeting Bartholomew to meet, uh, to, to move the pool table at noon. But then I called him up around 10, and that was after I got a one-stop instant offer on Amazon. And uh, he told me, like, don't worry about it. Just just come by after you're done with your, your 2 o'clock task, because I had one at 2, moving a treadmill. So I said, okay, sounds good. So then I got booked for a task. I forgot to update my availability on TaskRabbit. So for any of you guys who are on there, you, you know what that means. Um, I I meant to clear up my availability for after my my 2 p.m. job. I got a booking for 3, 3, 3.30. And it said needing help moving uh, a couch and a mattress from one condo building to another. So, and that was at um, about 12.15. So I messaged her back and I was like, hey, I can be there. I'm like, I said, uh, I've got it. I forgot. I told her the truth. I'm like, I forgot to update my availability for later today. Is there any chance I can come there like right now? She messages me back and says that she's at a meeting till one, you know, like a, like a whatever, Zoom meeting, whatever. And, uh, and I can come by then. So I'm like, okay, sounds good. So I drove over there, like, like, I walked through the door of the lobby at like 1 p.m. And then she literally met me downstairs like at 1.03. We had to move the, the couch and mattress out of the apartment into a freight elevator, took that down. Um, and then we had to literally move the couch and the mattress on the sidewalk of Illinois Street <laughs> because uh, the way the elevators were like we couldn't just like feed them through anywhere it, yeah it was anybody driving through must have been like okay that's not something you see every day uh, but I got greedy I got this was this was me being super greedy right because I had a job at 2 p.m. and that job was like 33 miles from like Navy Pier that's essentially where the second job was it was two blocks from Navy Pier um 
So I'm starting at like 122. I'm just like, I'm starting to like sweat. I'm just like, mm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, gonna go, gonna go. Uh, I left that job at 132. And then I fucking ran down the street. You know, I'm not, not a runner. I'm not a cardio bunny. Uh, fucking bolted as fast as I could to my car and just sped to my third task. And I got there at 2.11. And I thought it was funny, like, the treadmill was big. I mean, I might be exaggerating when I say it was 300 pounds. It was probably 270, maybe. 270, 280. I wouldn't put it at 300. Um, but this is the part that kind of frustrated me about it, is the other guy was trying to, like, take the lead. The other tasker. Right? And he was saying, he's like, no, 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 put it on the side. So I... I would put it on the side. He's like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. You know, because he didn't speak, like, English that well. Right? So, and I'm telling him, I'm, I, I told him a few times, I'm like, dude, I've done literally dozens of treadmills. I'm like, this is how we're supposed to do it. He's like, no, 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 do it this way, do it this way. So he's trying to be the boss of this job. And, like, at one point, he, he's trying to say that we should stand it up and slide it down the stairs and I'm just like no that's not that's not how we're gonna do it right and then and then uh the stairs it was like six steps going down and then a turn and then six steps going down to the basement so we got to the halfway point and I'm holding the heavy end I'm leading the heavy end and I'm you know I'm trying to protect the client's walls I don't want to fucking you know, I don't want to bang up any, I don't want to put any fresh holes in the, I don't want to put any fresh holes in, in, the, in the client's wall or anything like that. Um, and then, yeah. So we get to the halfway point. I start shifting it to bring it down the last few steps, you know, after the right angle. And he's saying, he's like, he's like, make sure you got it. He's telling me, make sure I got the heavy end. As he's got the light end. He's like, you make sure you got it. You make sure. And then he literally lets go of the fucking light end. And then the fucking, this treadmill comes sliding down. Makes a bunch of noise. The client starts freaking out. He's like, oh my God. Because this thing makes a ton of noise. And he's like, oh my God. What's going on down there? Are you okay? I tell him, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing, everything's okay. Everything's still attached. Uh, and the treadmill was perfectly fine. It was just like the, the, the bottom end of it, you know, had the rattling metal, you know, and, and I'm like, and the guy's like, the, the other tasker's pretty much staying to me. He's like, oh, I told you to make sure you got it. I'm like, fucking all the weight is that I don't think he understands that treadmills have a light end and a heavy end. <laughs> did he think he, did he think he had the fucking heavy end? <laughs> um, and I just, man that was that that could have ended bad like I literally slid up like I got out of the way as it was sliding towards me and thankfully we didn't mess up this guy's walls or anything like that um but it was a it was an experience let's say it like that and then you know I got a tip from the the client and everything like that but the 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 part that was frustrating in my opinion is uh when like the fact that this this dude was trying to like take the lead on the job and it's like I'm not an expert mover right I'm not gonna say I'm an expert mover but I've moved a fuck ton of treadmills already just out of sheer curiosity I went into the client app and I checked this guy's uh, I, I, I went looking for his profile and I saw seven not seven five-star reviews, seven moving jobs. Not 70, not 700, seven. And I'm thinking to myself like, yeah, I had every reason to be frustrated with this guy. And this is before I knew he had seven moving jobs. I'm like, dude, I got more treadmill jobs than you've got total jobs. Um. <laughs> And, uh, and I'm like, man, that could have just, that literally, 
This was the closest I've come to actually getting hurt on a job. And I don't know, man. Like, I'm starting to think. Like, you know, so on TaskRabbit, like, there, there's Ikea assembly and furniture assembly, right? Those are two different tasks. Just like help moving and heavy lifting are two different tasks. There should literally be a new category of, like, workout equipment. You know, moving and, and assembling treadmills or whatever, exercise bikes or whatever. Because, I mean, most of the, I like I said, I've done, out of the 13 treadmill jobs I've done, half were with my helpers, the other half were with other taskers. Um, you, like, there's, there's got to be some trust involved with these fucking jobs. <laughs> like, so, any of you guys who are, who are on there for a while or getting into it, like, might want to get some background info, because, I, I mean, I didn't ask this guy how many treadmill jobs he's done. The next next time I get, get, I get stuck with a, with a treadmill job where it's not one of my helpers, I'm going to be fucking, to, I'll be totally forward and be like, how many jobs have you done? And if they say less than 10 or l less than 5, or if they say, oh, I've done one, I'll be like, okay, guess what? This is my, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm the fucking captain of this ship right now. Because if not, then we're both going to get hurt, so. Alright guys, that's all I got for this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone please, stay safe, stay, fuck, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.